Now, some people will say, like the old Nike ad, let's just do it. But here's the problem. The goal is not integration as it is, as much as it is inclusion. I heard Methodist Bishop Forrest Stiff on the radio this week, and he said, integration puts us together, but inclusiveness makes us community together. For real inclusiveness to happen, white people need to come to terms with how and why the sea got separated the way it did in the first place. From the reaction of Reverend Wright over the past few weeks, it's clear that most Americans don't understand the role of black anger or the role of the black church in leading this country to the promised land. Fortunately, there are people in America today who are pointing us in the right direction. There are people who are calling for a national and local dialogue on race. A dialogue that, for the first time, might make room for both black people's anger and white people's frustration without the conversation breaking down. And the very fact that a black man is winning the majority of votes and delegates in a major political party for the presidency says something is shifting in America. But there are other people and other forces that are calling us back towards Pharaoh. The sound bites of inflammatory lines by Reverend Wright, sermons taken out of context and shown over and over and over and over again on the news and turned into character assassination on the internet is one of those negative forces. I hate to think what they would do with quotes from my sermons taken out of context over the last eight years on the internet. Let's remember that Moses became a great liberator in part because he was a border walker. Moses had a foot in two worlds. He was a Jew, but he was raised in the Pharaoh's home. He knew both cultures, and this prepared him to lead his people to freedom. Martin Luther King Jr. was a border walker. He was raised in the black church, in black schools in the South, but he was also educated in the elite universities in the North. And this background in two worlds prepared him to lead this entire country closer to its dream. Mahatma Gandhi was a border walker. Gandhi was raised in a traditional Indian family, but was educated in British schools. We need more border walkers like Moses and King and Gandhi. People who understand the complex dynamics of race and history. You and I need to become border walkers too. By at least learning as much as we can about the complete history of this country, including the black, the Native American, the Latino, the European, the Islamic, Jewish, and Asian contributions. Because in times like these, it requires ex something extraordinary. By the way, <clears throat> did you ever notice that there are prominent pastors in this nation who are preaching misogyny, homophobia, anti-Semitism, anti-Catholicism, and Islamophobia every day? And Fox News isn't questioning those preachers or the presidential candidates who sit in their churches and take their endorsements. There's a double standard in this nation. There always has been. And that's why it's time for a change. Thank you.